Math time na! It's me, Teacher Jane, and welcome to my channel. Interesado ka sa subject ko? Please don't hesitate to click the subscribe button and click that notification bell para updated ka sa next uploads ko. For today's topic, we will be discussing about circle. A circle is a set of all points in a plane, which are equidistant from a fixed point. The fixed point is called the center of the circle. and its parts. Today, I will be discussing with you the different terms related to circle. We have radius, chord, diameter, central angle, inscribed angle, semicircle, minor arc, and major arc. For today's objectives, we are going to define and illustrate circle and its parts, identify the measure of angles and arcs in the circle. We name a circle through the center of the circle. So in this case, this is circle J. The distance from the center of the circle to any point on the circle is called as radius. Radius is a line segment drawn from the center to any point on the circle. So, if on the same circle we have too many radius, we call it radii. So, in this case, the radius are segment JA, segment JE, and segment JN. So we have three radius. The length measure of all radius on the same circle are all equal. So here another one is circle B. A chord is a line segment with both endpoints on the circle. So we have chord or segment ER. And then another one we have segment AD. So these are examples of chord. Next, we have circle M. A diameter is a chord that passes through the center of the circle. Its length is twice the measure of its radius. So here, the diameter is segment ER and segment AD. So kung mapapansin nyo, it divides the circle into two half circle. Now look at the given figure. Then let's answer the questions that follows. Number one, what is the name of the circle? Number two, name all the radii. Number three, how many chords are there? Number four, name the diameter. Answer, for number one, the name of the circle is, of course, circle O. Then, all the radius are segment OI, segment OV, and segment OC. How many chords are there? There are three chords, and they are segment CV, segment CI, and segment CD. 
and segment CI is the diameter on the circle. Now, let's talk about the angles formed in the circle. We have a central angle, an angle formed by two radius of the same circle whose vertex is the center of the circle. So, here we have angle APS. So, paano kapag ninagdagan pa natin ng isa pang radius? How many central angles na ang ang meron? So, we have three central angles and they are angle APS, angle MPS, and angle APM. Sorry, it's DJ. Another type of angle is what we call inscribed angle. Inscribed angle is an angle formed by two chords of the same circle whose vertex is a point on the circle. So here, angle HAT is an inscribed angle. So now, discuss ko naman sa inyo yung different arcs formed on the circle. So we have semicircle. This is half of the circle. So we have here the diameter BS. Then the arc formed is arc BS. So, we have arc BS sa taas and then arc BS din sa baba. So, if we add another point in the circle, this arc becomes arc BPS. So, pwede rin natin siyang basahin ng ganun. So, through this, kung mapapansin nyo, na-divide yung ating arc. So, yung pag less than semicircle, we call it minor arc. So, in this case, ilang minor arcs meron tayo? So, we have arc PS and arc BP. So when the arc is greater than half of the circle, then we call this arc as major arc. So the arc PBS is called as major arc on the circle. So now let's have another activity. To see if you really understand the lesson. So analyze the given figure and then answer the questions that follows. Number one, name the circle. Number two, name the minor arcs. Three, name the semicircles. And then number four, angle VCD is A or an blank. Number five, angle VOI and angle VOC is blank. So, syempre, ang name ng ating circle ay circle O. And number two, ang ating arcs, ang ating minor arcs are arc VI and arc CV and arc ID. So, si arc VID also forms a minor arc. So, for number 3, we have two semicircles. We have arc CVI and arc CDI. So, pwede natin silang pabasahin ng pabaliktad arc IDC and arc IVC. Number 4, angle V CD is what? Very good. An inscribed angle. While angle VOI and angle VOC forms a central angles. Sorry, it's DJ. The measure of central angle is equal to its intercepted arc. So here, the central angle is angle APS and it is equal to arc AS. Figure, meron pa tayo ulit na central angle na M, angle MPS and angle APM. So if angle APS measures 60 degrees, then arc AS is also 60 degrees. So if 
arc MS is 43 degrees, therefore angle MPS is equal to 43 degrees. So angle APM is equal to 60 degrees plus 43 degrees is equal to 103 degrees. So next, the measure of inscribed angle is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. So here the inscribed angle is angle H A T. So this means uh, ang kanyang intercepted arc naman is arc H T. So if arc H T is 48 degrees, then angle H A T measures 24 degrees. So kalahate yung measure ng angle niya. Practice. Again, study the given figure. Okay, what is the measure of the following? What is angle V, O, C? Okay, number one, angle V, O, C is equal to 128 degrees. Okay, bakit? Kasi arc CVI forms a semicircle and therefore 180 degrees. So, 180 minus 52 degrees is 128 degrees. Next, angle VCI. So, VCI is one half of 52 degrees. So, that is 26 degrees. So, next, arc CV. So, kanina kinuha natin ang angle COV is 128 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, arc CV is also 128 degrees. So, next, we have arc CD. So, meron tayong inscribed angle na 20 degrees. So, ang ating intercepted arc ay times 2 lang. So, 40 degrees. So, next, we have arc VCD. So, kanina nga, we have arc CD equal to 40 degrees and arc CV equal to 128 degrees. So, therefore, 40 plus 128 is 168 degrees. Try answering this activity and see you on my next video. Goodbye!